right. Um, let's start uh, in person, actually, right up in the front here. We get a mic. Oh, come in a mic. Hello, my uh, how's, how's it going? Congrats. Hi. Thank uh, you. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Landrum, Associated Press. Um, just want to ask you, uh, I know you had a lot of stiff competition in this particular category. How does it feel just to be the victor above all? First of all, it's an incredible honor to be in such legendary company. Um, a lot of my friends, people I've worked with before, in respect. So to be the winner, it just means to me that as long as you trust your heart and um, you know, go where the joy is, that that is the, always gonna be the highest vibration. So I appreciate the Recording Academy so much for this honor, and yeah. I saw that. All right, our next, do we have one up here uh, to your right in the middle? Hey, how's it going? Hi. Uh, you know, you've written songs for pretty much everybody, and you've helped them win Grammys. What's it like to win a Grammy for your own song? You know, my deepest desire is that somebody is following my story. There's a little one out there that's going to see me and understand what it took for me to get here and realize that they can do it too. Also, hopefully, um, this means that people will just listen to me the first time when I say something, and I don't have to continue to fight to get my vision across. I'm hoping that you know this trophy, it doesn't mean the same thing to everybody, but for me, it means that maybe I might know a little bit. Our next is going to be virtual on the screen right in front of you. Hello. Lavetta. Hello, uh, Money Long. My name is Lavetta Jenkins from chattypassenger.com. I first want to say that I thank you for putting out a great love song that just captured the world. But you released that song in Spanish just a few days ago. What's next for you? Uh, well, I definitely love Latin music. So hopefully there will be some collaborations there to come. You never know. Um, always exploring new sounds, new ways that I can use my voice as an instrument. And I'm not putting any limitations on myself. So you can expect to hear some rap, some, uh, you know, maybe just like folky things, definitely some more ballads. I am going to the very, very edge of my gifts with this next project. And I just hope that the world is ready for what I have to offer. We definitely are. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. And we'll do one more virtual question. Let's go to Tanya. There we go. Hi, Tanya Hart, American Urban Radio Networks. Congratulations. First of all, you look just gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> you, know, you really do. I had a whole different question, but I, I've got to speak to what you just said a moment ago about how now maybe people will listen to you and you don't have to work quite as hard to convince people. Why is that still a problem, especially for black women? Because well, that's exactly know. what I was going to say is that I think it happens at Starbucks, it happens everywhere. There's so many little microaggressions that I have to just take a deep breath and be compassionate that everybody doesn't understand um, you, how you understand yourself. There's stereotypes, there's ways that people were raised where they just sometimes may have or, or have grown up with uh, these projections that they wanna put onto you. And so there's always this undertone of, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She's not sure. Let me ask her the same question 10 different times. Maybe she'll give me a different answer as if I don't know what I want the first time. And so I'm sure there's so many people that go through that. But as a black woman in this world, in this current time, I cannot tell you how many times I have to correct people and repeat myself. And it does get exhausting, but I do it because this is what I love. And I'm not going to allow someone else's ignorance to keep me from achieving my dreams. 
Good for you. You just keep going. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Beautifully spoken. Thank you so much, Money, and congratulations again on your Thank win. Thank you.